factors na malaking factor dito sa organizational psychology is yung pag-aaral on resistance sa change. It's a all for one, one for all mentality. Emotional na rin sila sa pagkakaroon ng kontrata. But ironically, to Vic and Joey made the transfer to ABC5, you think walang kontrata? Parang mas gusto to sa, ay, sa papa ay sa Miss Chicha is waking up! ABS-CBN somehow has maintained that a stature Tinanong ko sa kanya, may multo ba rito? Uy mo Kuya Koy List, Kuya Mike for the Kuya Koy List And uh, again, uh, andito na naman tayo at uh, pag-uusapan naman natin yung mga pangyayari uh, sa uh, tungkol sa Rigodon ng uh, mga noontime shows kasi maraming pwedeng pag-usapan rito no and uh, I would like to discuss this time eh, tungkol sa pangyayari na kung saan ang mga ah, halos host ay pumasok na sa isang organization na buo uh, na buo actually for 44 years we're talking about the children of Romy Halushos na actually ay uh, siyang pinaka chairman ng uh, Tape Incorporated no uh, yun ang producer ng It Bulaga the first na ang mga host ay sina Tito Vic and Joey again for 44 years napakahabang panahon yun uh, yung It Bulaga and of course they uh, were talking about Tito Vic and Joey and of course the rest of yung mga kasamahan nila would like to attempt uh, the uh, having a 50th uh, anniversary no uh yun nga lang eh mukhang hindi natin malaman kung matutuloy sa paglipat nila sa TV5 again TV5 not ABC5 and thank you sa mga ating mga uh, nanonood mga na kumuha ng pansin uh, natin na sinabi na instead na ABC5 so luma na yung ABC5 no so TV5 na pala ito thank you very much any case uh, as i've said itong mga anak niya nila ni uh, Romy Halusos eh pumasok na no uh, one of which is si Romeo Halusos uh, Jr or John John uh, I think is also siya yung nagpatakbo uh, as congressman din no and then uh, there is Bullet Halusos a sister na papalit supposedly kay Main si Suraya Halusos so this is a case of your organizational uh, changes. Uh, there is a a course on such, no? Uh, merong psychology for behaviors, at uh, saka yung sa, sa pag-iisip, clinical psychology, at uh, meron ding organizational psychology. Ito yung pagsure or yung pag-aanilisa ng isang organisasyon usually it's in an industrial setting at na kung saan eh, titignan kung paano uh, nagaganap ng mga membro ng organisasyon ang, ang kanilang mga roles para uh, mapalaganap yung kanilang mitiin na may harmony as much as possible and uh, isa sa mga pinag factors na malaking factor dito sa organizational psychology is yung pag-aaral on resistance sa change and in the case of Itbulaga ay yung change ng pagpasok ng mga halos host as implementing managers na no uh, I, I don't know, mga CEO or uh, president ng isang organization. I think unpisa ang pinaka head was Romy Halusos, and then ang structure was Romy Halusos, and then my partnership uh, si Tony Tovera with uh, the Halusos, 
uh, at may I think may stocks, may share sila na mas maliit kaysa na majority ng pag-aari ni uh, Mr. Romeo Halusos. But itong si Mr. Tovera seems to be the acting to be the leader on the implementation of the day-to-day -day activities at siya yung parang conduit between the talents na sila Tito Vic and Joey and the rest and ang may-ari na si Romeo Halusos. Ang, ang alam natin na nagkaroon ng isang malaking uh, legal uh, problem si Mr. Halusos. And uh, so for so many years, wala siya, nasapitan siya, and then after that, eh, nakabalik na siya. Pero within that 44 years, I don't know how active Mr. Halosos was in the organization. no? Or was he just like the financer uh, ng, uh, ng grupong ito na? After 44 years, eh, napag-isipan ng matandang halusos, na si Romeo Halusos, maybe the children could have an active role na sa grupo ng tape. And uh, this was really implemented. Ang sabi, it, it could have uh, started even before the pandemic, kaso may pandemic, and then ito nga yung pangyayari sa, sa politics or uh, politika na sinamahan ni uh, Tito Soto na kung saan he was trying to be vice president pero hindi niya nangyari nga ito. So, Mr. Alosos wants to implement such changes full force. Yun ang kinabibigla ng mga nila Tito Vic and Joey na wow! All of a sudden, after 44 years, here is a group na biglang papasok will try to get into the culture and organization na kung saan sila-sila naman, uh, Tito Vic and Joey and Mr. Tovera, uh, na gagawa naman nila yung, yung dapat nilang gawin. So, number one, of course, there's mistrust. Yung biglang papasok eh. Hindi man lang isa, pero tatlo ang papasok all of a sudden. How would you feel about that? Uh, at sila magiging leaders at tatanggalin pa nila yung pinaka-leader na nirerespeto nila Tito Vic and Joey na si Tony Tovera. Doon pa lang, so may resistance na. It's a all for one, one for all mentality. Is that anong magagawa ninyo sa amin? Who are you guys to help us out? Anong makukuha namin sa inyo? Yan ang iisipin ng grupo na to. So, tapagkatapos noon, lack of communication. Wala dun si Mr. Halushos, no? Who, of course, uh, by this time, eh, supposedly would have the clout, would have the na mamagitan between the talents and his family, his children. Bakit hindi nakapasok si Mr. Halusos, who was there the whole 44 years? And why only now? So in other words, napakalayo uh, ng, ng agwat. Mr. Halusos could have started it a long time ago. Even from the very start, or from its first year uh, ng inception ng Itbulaga. He could have developed a structure na kung saan kasama talaga siya sa mga changes na ito. Or even kung nasapitan man siya, he could have assigned someone na that would have represented him. And then nung nakalabas siya sa pitan, then he could have like started and reinvigorated yung kanyang presence sa loob ng structure na yun, sa loob ng organization na yun. Pero it seems pinabayaan rin niya. So, this is where the resistance would be coming from. Na bigla na lang papasok si yung pamilya. And this is just not one person. There are like several persons. So there will be really fears. No? And ang kasama nga dun is mamiminimize pa yung mga oras ng Tito Vic and Joey. And then... Sa dulo, bigla na lang nagsabi uh, in one of the interviews that uh, the Halusos children were offering 
to create a contract with uh, Tito Vic and Joey, which never existed in the whole of 44 years. And that's what I'm saying, culture na yan, na sa loob ng 44 years, ay eh, meron na silang uh, ways at, uh, at gawe uh, sa loob ng organisasyon na yan na kung saan ay eh, mukhang nagpapasurvive naman sa, sa kanila putting themselves, the Alosos children to be part of an organization is going to be difficult such that even sa mga meetings, even sa kainan they were not part of that core group siguro kung inumpisahan lang muna ng isang tao probably there was one but it, probably it was not kumbaga hindi hinog hindi pa hinog yung participation ng kung sino man ito and I'm thinking probably it was John John who, who uh, could have started that could have developed a makuha yung loob ng grupo na to he failed obviously it was a failure di niya nakuha yung puso at isip ng mga talents na to. Papasukan mo ng kontrata, magiging emotional sila. Emotional na sila kay, kay Tony, pag alis ni Tony Tivera, emotional na rin sila sa pagkakaroon ng kontrata. But ironically, when Tito Vic and Joey made the transfer to ABC5, you think walang kontrata? You think walang changes na naganap between sa organization mismo, ng structure mismo, uh, between uh, Tape Incorporated and TV5? Ito yung sinasabi natin na resistance dun sa, sa dating uh, grupo nila, sa changes sa dating grupo nila, but they are open to changes dito sa bagong grupo na to. And I can only fault Mr. Halosos who was not able to uh, create the influence sa structure at group sa loob ng tape, incorporated. He was an outsider. This will be insight uh, to anyone sa mga, mga malilit ng grupo who would like to make any changes sa structure nila. Alright, so good luck to uh, the Halosos uh, kids and to the new It Bulaga and to Tape Incorporated. Again, ito po si Kuya Mike ang, uh, of uh, the Kuya Kuyulis. It's a brand's branding and shopping channel for the global Filipino. Pakilala niyo po ako sa mga kaibigan, kamag-anak ninyo. Whether here in the United States, back home in the Philippines, all around the world, subscribe po. Subscribe, subscribe lang po. Again, ito po si Kuya Mike, ang, ang malamang na kaisa-isang uh, affiliate marketer na Filipino-American for online stores here in the United States at ang kuya nyo sa Amerika. This is for the Kuya Koy List. Strong. Strong.